Hi Om, how are you doing? Yeah, hi Aditesh, good evening. I am doing excellent. What's about you? Yes, I am also fine. Thank you for asking. Uh, so, uh, Om, can I get a brief about your profile? Yes, sure. So, yes. first of all, thank you for giving me this opportunity mm -hmm. to introduce myself. My name is Om Prakash Malik. Basically, I am from Odisha and I completed my B.Sc. Computer Science under Utkal University. Okay. Then coming to my professional experience, I do have six months of professional experience as a data analyst in talented learning. Okay. In this tenure of six months, mm -hmm. I got a chance to work with various tools like SQL Server, MS Excel, and Power BI. Okay. In SQL Server, I'm good in joins, constraints, good by, so group by, order by, etc. Mm -hmm. And in MS Excel, I'm well versed in B lookup, H lookup, some ifs, count ifs, pivot tables, etc. And I also created basic dashboards for my, com for my company by using Power BI. Okay. So then coming to my strain, I am I am a quick learner and, and I always I am I always eager to upskill myself yeah. and I always try to exceed my superior's expectation. Okay. And coming to my weakness, I am very I am a gullible. So I am working on that. So that's about myself. All right. Thank you. Great. So Om, uh, can you please share your experience with uh, your you know job roles and responsibility during your internship time? Yeah. Mainly in, in my internship time, I involved with a project, customer data operation. Mm -hmm. In that pro, in this project, I mainly involved with the ETL process. Mainly I bought various types of Excel data sets, okay. which containing the students' and customers' information. Okay. So in the data set, mainly I am I validate the email ID and contact numbers. Mm -hmm. Some data are relevant for us and some are not relevant for us. Okay. So I also been involved in data cleansing and data visualization and also remove the duplicate records, logs, do blank rows, etc. Okay. And after completed that, I will store the data into SQL server for my future for our future users. Like after that, I use in SQL server we I use joins to fetch the data from one or more tables and also use the case statements like mm -hmm. to keep a grade or positions or my for the customers and also use the ranking functions mm -hmm. and after that i started the visualization process i create the dash created the dashboards for my company mm -hmm. by using power base some graph using some bar chart column chart like pie okay. graph donut chart etc so that's all my, my roles and responsibility all right all right great uh, Om, can you please tell me something that uh, about yourself that has not been mentioned in your uh, resume? Yes, yes, sir. Okay, please go ahead. Certainly, I am. Yes, certainly, I. I am working on that. Suddenly. Problem, problem solving skills. Okay, okay. Certainly, I am working on the problem solving skills. Okay. And creative creativity thinking. I think that is not underlined in my resume. All right. So don't you think that that's a you know weakness for your side, on your side? Mm, yes. Problem. No. Actually, I will mention it. Yes. Okay. Hello. So, uh, Om, uh, tell me, uh, how do you feel working on uh, late, uh, you know, late hours or during weekends? Are you comfortable yes. or you are, uh, you know, you have some obligations? No, no, I'm You're comfortable. Okay. All right. Yes, I understand. Mm -hmm. Please go ahead. Yeah. I understand sometimes in the projects and deadlines, I need some extra times. I am certainly open to working on the overtime or odd time. So meanwhile, when we, when it is necessary to meet those demands, I am mm -hmm. uh, ready for working on that. So right. I mean, I believing on that to maintain a well, maintaining a balance between my work life and personal life. But right. I am also I also committed to ensure the 
successful of my success of my team and also the complete completing the critical task. All right, that's great. Good to hear. Anyway, uh, Om, uh, can you please uh, let me know your biggest achievement so far? Biggest achievement so far. Yes, my biggest achievement is the my current in the previous project of customer data operation. Mm -hmm. After this project, after completing this project, my uh, company is significantly improving the decision making process mm -hmm. uh, through the meticulous and data gathering and data analyzing and data visualization. Okay, I was able to uncover the valuable insights uh, which is uh, directly uh, which is directly uh, converted into strategical uh, initiatives and business growth super okay so uh, during your internship project or your project while you were acquainted with your project okay so how would you handle the sensitive or the confidential data in your work as a data analyst, I am pretty much careful about that the sensitive and confidential data. Mm -hmm. So mainly I created some I create some protocol may very strictly created some protocols and some rules for maintain the for keep maintain the data confidential and by using the that by the mean of which I use some system. Uh, system uh, protection systems okay and authentications and also i would like uh, i would i'll i'll being mm -hmm. i would bring mind the who could access the data okay and uh, fine i got it. okay well so given a chance uh, to work with our company so are you looking for a long term goal or for a short term goal? No, I'm looking for a long term goal. All right. So where do you see yourself in the next five years? Okay. And I don't know, but I am sure about that. But the experience and the knowledge I gain from your company that will surely help me to progress and achieve a better position in your company in every passing years. Okay. Good. All right. So coming back to the uh, part where you know you were well versed with SQL, let me ask something from yes. SQL as well. Are you comfortable with that again? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. So, comfortable. Okay. Fine. So shall we start? Yes. Okay. Oh, uh, let's say suppose I have an employee table. Okay. And employees yes. have got rating one, two, three. Okay. Depending on the performance. Yes. Okay. I want yes. to give 20% yes. increment to one, 15% increment to uh, two, and 10% increment to again one. Okay. So yes. how can I achieve this in a single query? If you can write down on the chat box your share your screen and you may please wait, just let me okay. make you the host. All right. So you are now the host. You can please share your screen and please write the query for that. Okay. So open the uh, yes, it, it's visible. You may please open Zoom again. Open Zoom at the bottom. at the bottom bottom or you may please uh, you know share notepad notepad also is okay notepad will also go no issue just search for notepad share your screen and search for notepad
Yes. Okay. Should I repeat the question? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So, oh, my question is: Suppose I have an employee table, and employees have got ratings one, two, three. Okay. Now, yes. depending on the performance. Okay. Yes. Uh, now I want to give twenty percent increment to person one, fifteen percent increment to person two. And ten percent increment to person one again. How can you achieve this in a single query? Okay. Is my question okay? Yes. Please. Are you clear? Yes. Please go ahead with your query. And just type the question in the chat box in case you want to. Yes. Is it rating or rate rating? Just the spelling is there. Okay. Are you sure on that? Okay. Yes, yes, you are. You may stop sharing your screen. Okay, I got your answer. Thank you. Yes, moving forward with the next question. Om, can you please explain me what is the use of care index function? Caring is a SQL function which is used to find the position of a character or a something within a string. If it is not found any character, then it will show you a result at zero. All right. So, Om, uh, your uh, you know uh, network again uh, it's stuck. Anyway, so if you can tell me what is composite key. And uh, can you please explain me with an syntax of that? In a relational database, composite key is the combination of one or two columns, mm -hmm. one or more columns. 
in that case, in composite P, you have. Uh, Sorry? Composite P with. Am I okay? Okay. And in composite P, in composite P, we used to and rows in between two columns. So the uh, main syntax of the composite P is, and so I first I have to create a table, create table table name, and I have to uh, start the practice. Mm -hmm. And after that, I have to give a column name and data type, give the column name to data type. Okay. After that, I have to write the, the primary key, and in the primary key in the bracket, I have to mention the column one and column two, and I have to close the brackets. So that is the syntax of composite P. Okay. So then what is the use of a view? View is a functional table. Mainly we depend upon the uh, result of a SQL query. So it is does not create a, does not create the data. It, it stores the data itself. It, it mainly depends on the, dynamically and um, retrieve the data from one or more underlying tables from the relational database. So, uh, store mainly give you give, give you the uh, presentation to structure the data and mm -hmm. specify the problems and also uh, provide a security layer by ensuring by some columns and rows. Okay, fine. So, yeah. So, uh, see, uh, Om, can you? Uh, Say something about what is index and how many types of indexes are there. Okay, index are mainly used um, for data and that you know, for speed of the data and the data retrieval for hello. Sorry, data? Am I audience? Yes, you are. For speed of the data retrieval. Data mm -hmm. retrieval. Hello. By using some um, space and some um, okay. mainly the use of uh, speed of the data re retrieval process. Well, by if you use index in a table, then okay. you can easily if you normally uh, trying to trying to uh, normally trying to retrieve the data from a table, it may I think assuming it may take 20, 20 seconds by using index, it can. In tech, uh, five to three, four seconds, four to five seconds. So mainly, what is and data retrieval? So there are four types of there are several types of index. So mainly, the primary key index, unique index, clustered index, and non-clustered index. Fine. Good. Uh, my last question. Okay. So um, let's say suppose I want to update. Okay, all the employee salary by twelve percentage. Yes. Okay. So how will you do that? Yes. You may say with the query. So, uh, in that case, I have to use. Sorry, in that case, I have to update use, the, use update. Uh, update statement. Okay, I have to write the update and the table name. After that, I have to write the set. Uh, I have to mention the column e salary mm -hmm. equals to salary into uh, sir, what with 12 percent? 12 percentage, yes, 12 percentage, yes, salary into 12 percent. Then, so that I will execute that thing, then it will show the it will change the all the employee salary to by increasing out of 12 percent. Okay. okay, so are you sure on that again? Are you yes, sure? I am sure. Fine, all right. Uh, oh, yes. so I'm done from my end. So the HR will get back to you on this. Okay. I'll share the feedback with her and she'll get back to you on your candidature. All right. So thank you for joining yes. uh, the meet. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank have you. a good day.